Stephen consumed the last part of his wealth, and according to Professor X's guidance, he traveled all the way to the roof of the world. At this time, he remembered that he should say to his loyal assistant, but only after dialing the number did he know that the number had been cancelled. A place not confirmed by Professor X, Kamar Taj. With trembling hands, Stephen firmly grasped the piece of paper. After twists and turns, he finally set foot on this terrifyingly high land. The terrible wind screamed at roar all the time, cutting him like a knife, which made him even more embarrassed. He stood on the street with messy hair and bloodshot eyes, looking helplessly at the crowd. Stephen went to the market, holding the note in his hand, an axe, Kamar Taj? The passerby shook his head, and Stephen continued to axe, but he still didn't get any useful news, and his heart gradually cooled down. At this time, a group of small gangsters gathered up maliciously. Kamar Taj, Stephen Axe. In the next second, he was beaten, and there was a slap print on his face with a snap. Kamar Taj, look at this fool. These gangsters began to grin sternly, and then began to snatch valuable things from Stephen. There's another one over there, his belongings are more valuable. A small bastard had sharp eyes, saw a young man in formal wear coming down from the beetle, and immediately yelled. The gangsters rushed over immediately, leaving poor Stephen in place. Oh, are you trying to dot rob me? This handsome young man has a straight stature, and his black formal wear alone costs tens of thousands of dollars. His black hair is meticulous, and the word, rich, is written all over his body. No wonder the local gangsters are looking at him, this is simply fat sheep. Take out the valuable things, including the clothes on you, take it off, hurry up, said the lead gangster in stumbling English. Looking at these guys, Martin suddenly smiled. Is there anything more funny than this? These idiots wanted to blackmail him? Court death. A ruffian drew his knife and gestured to Martin's gentle smile. Martin looked over these idiots and fell on Stephen who was staggering up, smiling, and saying, Mister, are you also blackmailed by them? Don't you know that you are going on a long trip and you don't know how to bring a weapon with you? N.S. No. I didn't expect so much. Stephen was ashamed, wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth, and looked a little cringe, unlike the confident and arrogant him in the past. It's not too late to think about it now. Martin kept smiling. The ruffian showed a trace of cruelty on his face, and stabbed him severely. Click it. In the next second, Martin's head was screwed off by Martin. It's not a description, it's really twisted off, holding the shoulder with one hand, pinching the neck with the other, and then gently exerting force like tearing a piece of bread. This person's head is just like a twist, and Martin tore it off. The blood blossoms rose to the sky, extremely gorgeous. Everyone was frightened stupid. Martin clapped his hands, spread his hands, and smiled at Stephen. Have you seen it? Sometimes, it's that simple to change. People are really different from people. Stephen's eyes were almost staring, and fear surged into his heart. The many little ruffians looked at each other. Their bodies were also covered with blood. They looked terrified and finally screamed and were about to flee for their lives. Bumblebee, kill them all. Martin raised his hand and pointed. That beetle suddenly started shapeshifting, and soon turned into a yellow shapeshifting King Kong. A hand cannon shapeshifting came out, and in a crash, these idiots were blasted into scum on the street. It evaporates directly. This cold-blooded scene was seen by everyone. It only happened within a few seconds. Many people didn't react at all. After a while, they screamed and crawled. Martin took out his handkerchief calmly, wiped the blood from his hands, and walked towards Stephen slowly. The hornet followed behind, like a faithful guard. Open black lens bracket bumblebee close black lens bracket, reconnaissance units under the Autobot core. Character. Lively, persistent plus 20%, height, 6.5 meters. Energy. 6 million. Open black lens bracket body. Healthy close black lens bracket. Combat power. Level 3. Famous saying. Hash percent hash. A bunch of unclear noises. Evaluation. The detective captain of the Autobot Corps, the best sentry. Although he is a small man, there are huge amounts of energy in his body. Close black lens bracket. Are you? 
Martin? That Martin? Professor X said you can heal my hand. Stephen looked at the hornet, like being struck by lightning, and instantly awake, his desire to heal his hands overwhelmed his fear of the unknown, he asked excitedly. Martin glanced at him, well, these hands are broken, I can indeed heal them. Please help me heal it, I am willing to pay any price, with tears in his eyes, Stephen almost knelt down. The ghost knows how hard he has been during this period of time. Martin stroked his chin and thought about it for a while. To be honest, for a moment, he was shocked Stephen's upper limit of magic was too high, even higher than ancient one. If you give Stephen a few hundred years, and Martin will open the door for him by himself, to be honest, it is really not difficult to train Stephen into a great magician of level single universe. Pity, unfortunately, the price you can pay is not what I need. Martin looked sad. If he stopped Doctor Strange halfway, I guess Ancient One would dare to fight him. It's really troublesome. Stephen's eyes dimmed immediately. He suddenly remembered something and acts excitedly. What are you doing here? Are you looking for Kamar Taj? Actually, I have found it their people have always been here. Martin grinned. A person wearing a linen robe came slowly, took off his hood, revealing a dark face. You could have not killed them, you just need to give a severe lesson. Mordu's face was ugly. I don't kill them, it's them who are looking for death on their own. I am also to blame? Kamar Taj's magicians are all such virgins? Martin chuckled and grabbed Stephen. Where are we going? Stephen looked confused. Stay away from this idiot and then heal your hand I helped you, and you must repay me well and do everything you can to repay my kindness. Martin said. After turning around, Martin dragged Stephen to a very simple alley, and finally stood in front of a small dilapidated wooden door. This is a small broken door that has been beaten by wind and rain, full of traces of time. This is the legendary Kamar Taj, the home of the strongest human beings on earth? Stephen shrank with a bitter expression on his face, not sure if he was smiling or planning to cry. The strongest humans live here? That's it? Mordu's voice was calm. Many years ago, when I came here for the first time, I was holding the same confusion as you, and my heart was full of doubts, but as someone who came by, I would like to offer you a suggestion forget what you knew in the past. With that, Mordor pushed open the small wooden door and made a pleased gesture. Martin stepped directly out and stepped into it first. Mordu frowned, his heart becoming more and more unhappy, but he didn't say anything. He is here for Stephen, for the magical genius in the mouth of this supreme magician. Now it seems that he is also disappointed. This is the beggar on the side of the road, not to mention the magical aptitude, because of this tolerance and courage, it is too far away. He hadn't seen Stephen before he was injured, when he was arrogant. The three of them walked into the small wooden door, and in an instant, the scene in front of them all changed. It seems to be another world, a large site, a simple and mysterious building. He turned his head subconsciously, the door that came in had long since disappeared, and the crooked wall made of red bricks disappeared without a trace. Stepping into the quaint building, there are a small number of scholars, who exude an atmosphere of learning, with gentle movements and steady steps, exuding an atmosphere of wisdom. To some extent, magicians are indeed very knowledgeable, and they have too much to study and learn. Boom! Martin pushed open the door vigorously, making a rough gesture and sweeping his gaze. He found a chair, then walked over and sat down. Everyone stopped their movements and turned to look at him. You're welcome, what should you do? Martin laughed, I'm looking for Ancient One, not you. Everyone looked at him silently, watching Martin pull out a book from the shelf next to him, then picked up the teapot next to him, poured himself a cup of tea, and walked toward the chair. Mordu took a deep breath and suppressed the deep anger in his heart. At this moment, everyone's complexion changed slightly, and after a pause, the atmosphere in the whole hall became more solemn, and there was a sense of lofty awe. A bald woman walked slowly, behaving calmly. Martin closed the book with a pop, got up and smiled, I'm still thinking, when will you show up? The woman in front of her was the ancient one, the terrifying magic power like a vast Wangyang, just standing there, as if there were stars in the universe rotating around her. After all, 
This is the second time we have met. Ancient One still has the signature smile on his face, but don't think that this smile is a real smile, it is more of a habitual disguise. There are some things I need to tell you, so that after I act, there will be a fight between you and me, which will be very troublesome, Martin said lightly. The two confronted each other with a sense of tension. The horrible sense of depression overwhelmed the entire Kamar Taj. Many magicians suddenly raised their heads, and their foreheads were already covered with fine beads of sweat. Suddenly, Ancient One frowned, looked up and down Martin, and said, You, carry two infinite gems with you? Definitely, otherwise I won't come to face you directly. Everyone knows that magicians are the most weird group of guys. No one knows how many weird spells you have. Once you neglect, this will be a big trouble. Martin spread out his hand, and the two jewels, yellow and blue, complemented each other. The power of mind and space intertwined together, causing the two brilliant jewels here to slowly rotate and float above Martin's palm. Everyone's eyes were attracted by these two unbelievably beautiful gems, and the whole mind pounced on it, as if the most miraculous sight in the universe was concentrated here and displayed in Martin's palm. Ancient One waved his sleeve. Hum! A powerful wave of magic erupted, awakening all the magicians present. Infinite gems points directly to the core of this universe. The will of ordinary people is too fragile and can easily be affected and distorted by infinite gems. Ancient One's voice was gentle. Numerous magicians immediately showed shame, and after bowing respectfully to Ancient One, they hurriedly left one after another. Martin glanced, and saw that Stephen still couldn't help but shift his gaze to these two gems. These two stones are amazing, can they heal my hand? Stephen stared stubbornly and whispered. No one laughed at him. At the moment, Modu, who has always been picky, was taken aback and looked at Stephen in surprise. You can actually look directly at infinite gems and maintain a stable mind. Especially these two infinite gems, and a mind gem that specifically affects the mind and spirit. At this moment, Mordor looked at Stephen with admiration, no wonder Ancient One praised this down and out guy so much. At least in terms of willpower, it is indeed commendable. Ancient One nodded to Stephen, which made Stephen a little flattered. Ancient One looked at Martin again, frowned slightly, and said, The power of infinite gems is far beyond the scope of the understanding of conventional gods. Once you are confused by the sudden powerful power, then everything is over. Martin, you know well, no one in this world has ever got two infinite gems at the same time, but you did it. No one has ever been able to sit on two infinite gems. Martin is the only one in the history of the universe. I not only want these two, but I also want more. The other four infinite gems are also within my hunting range. You can guess this with your wisdom, even you, you have seen it in some way. Martin slowly grabbed his palm and gathered the two infinite gems together. Ancient One stared at him, his face solemn, and the stormy waves in his heart. The time gem, which she deliberately sealed into the artifact Eye of Agamotto, is her biggest secret. But now, she clearly heard some deep meaning from Martin's words. You are walking on the road of destruction, you will die, Ancient One said solemnly. Perhaps, but if I really die, then there is no doubt that I must have left behind the resurrection. Ancient One, I am here to find you this time, not to fight with you, I want to tell you, some things must be dealt with in advance, because it won't be long before I leave the earth. I'm going to build a planet that belongs to me, away from the remote place of the earth. Dangerous decision. Ancient One poured a cup of tea, looked at the smoke, and said lightly, there are many overlords in this universe who desire to conquer, and they all have different ideals. If you want to become one of them, you must do well. Preparations for total war. Martin clenched his fist suddenly. So? So, it's better to stay on Earth. Ancient One handed Martin a cup of tea. Martin frowned and did not answer. Ancient One continued. You are amazing, Martin, in the tens of trillions of billions of futures I have observed, you have never been there, but you have just appeared, and you have risen at an incredible speed and become a prestige. Shocking the existence of the universe, you broke the shackles of time and surpassed you in countless parallel universes. Martin took the teacup and put it aside, he knows his situation. Parallel universes self. 
Others will certainly have it, but anyone who can be copied by multi-universe will have everything on their body copied into countless copies and passed on to different universes. Can this copy rule fall on him? Come on, his peers are amazingly the natives of Marvel multi-universe, even if it is rare that one becomes a superhero or a super criminal, that is, it is fundamentally different from him. Ancient One showed a gentle smile again. Are you interested in being the supreme magician of the Earth? The Earth needs a new Asgardian. Mordu's face changed drastically. Sovereign magician, how can someone like him be the Asgardian of the Earth? Ancient One waved his hand, looking sharply at Martin. Martin raised his eyebrows. If I say I am interested, would you really dare not make it? Ancient One is determined to look at him. Martin fell silent, becoming increasingly unable to see Ancient One. I refuse. Martin slowly said, a super magician, an Asgardian of life planet, is not worthy to restrain my progress, and what stands in front of me as countless multi-universes, I don't it is possible to abandon the infinite multi-universe for the sake of a mere earth. Ancient One sighed deeply. The atmosphere fell into silence. Stephen looked at them with a confused look, completely unaware of what happened, especially when he heard words such as, multi-universe, and, infinite gems, he didn't even understand. CFBD. In this case, I have no choice. Your ambition is too big and you will burn the entire planet to the ground. Ancient One waved his hand gently, and the eye of Agamotto on his chest began to turn slowly. The power of time gem, together with the eye of Agamotto originally, began to work together. Ancient One, do you know what I hate you most? You have been a supreme magician for 500 years. You have been guarding such a small star all the year round. Everything about you is tied to this small place, with an unchanging vision. Make you always within certain boundaries, self-righteous. Martin clenched his fist, the blue and yellow rays of light gushing out instantly, and in an instant, the entire Kamar Taj began to tremble. The subtle turbulence of the power of the three infinite gems inspired Kamar Taj to construct the magic array for thousands of years. The brilliance flashed by, as if a god descended, powerful magic power surged out, maintaining stability. Martin, you will know that you made a huge amount of mistake. Mordu screamed with a gloomy face, and at the same time was about to summon all the magicians to maintain the magic circle and fight Martin to the death. As long as it is Ancient One's will, he is willing to give everything. But Ancient One waved its sleeves in an instant, and its actions were steady. In an instant, a large number of portakeepers such as Mordor and the confused Stephen and others were sent away. At the same time, she even activated a magic. In an instant, layers of things like prisms suddenly appeared in the space, breaking the existing real space. Martin, your power is too powerful. What is more dangerous than this power is your ambition and desire? Ancient One stepped forward, raised his hand, and instantly there were a large number of artifacts flying. The red floating cloak and the blue floating cloak flew separately. The book of Emperor Weishan suddenly opened, and countless pages were turned. There are terrible secrets and magic flashes on it. A huge amounts of Sifong Ding shook. This one the tripod of all things, containing the power of observation, slammed into it. The eye of Agamotto was grabbed by Ancient One and lifted up high. The terrifying magic power sealed in it burst out in an instant, sweeping everything, faintly, with a green light flickering, and the power of time was surging. Seeing this scene, Martin's eyelids jumped. This pile of artifacts is really terrifying. Not to mention Time Gem, Eye of Agamotto is the first supreme magician left behind by Agamotto. The origin of the Book of Emperor Weishan not to mention. There is a Trinity Waishandi platform, and such an ancient one is really difficult to deal with. But, very beautiful artifacts, but few can really be used, because the things I have are only stronger than them. Martin opened his mouth slowly, his gaze swept randomly, watching the layers of prism-like things covering it, and in an instant, the supreme divine armor instantly emerged from his body, and the draping was completed in an instant, and the magnetic glove was directly worn on his right hand. Two infinite gems fluttered, flashing through two gorgeous trajectories. Then, it was firmly inlaid on the two sudden recesses on the magnetic glove. Hum. At the moment when the two infinite gems were completely stable, 
terrible fluctuations burst out. Unprecedented, someone can control the power of two infinite gems at the same time, even things like Infinity Gauntlet have only been built so far, and are considered to be a carrying artifact that should be able to control multiple infinite gems. No one has tried it with Infinity Gauntlet, but now, Martin has directly crossed the Infinity Gauntlet, using Cybertron's relic magnetic gloves as the carrying props, and forcibly inlaid two infinite gems. You should have decided so long ago, Ancient One, why waste precious time on the Void and Snake Committee? Since I have determined that I will become the source of the destruction of the Earth, I should do it directly. Martin showed an icy smile, allowing a large number of prisms to spread over, layered on top of each other far beyond the past, barely separating him from the real world, who was terrifying in size. The mirror space is indeed very interesting, but it also depends on who it is used for. Especially, facing the terrible guy like Martin who holds the space gem in his hands, the mirrored space really does not constitute an obstacle. In a single universe, unless the gods of level single universe can contend with the power of infinite gems, everything must be under infinite gems. Martin raised his right hand, and the space gem on his glove suddenly lit up. The blue brilliance flashed, and the countless layers of mirrored space around him were all destroyed at this moment, turned into countless emerald green butterflies, dancing lightly. It's beautiful. Same it's also very cold. At the moment, the two powerful men holding a large number of artifacts went to war. Terrible fluctuations, spirit, space, time, magic, and all kinds of power burst out together at this moment, just a trace of aftermath leaked out, exploded in the confrontation, and the violent turbulence caused directly interfered with countless microscopic particles, it directly shook the entire earth. Several continents felt a slight shaking, as if a global earthquake had erupted. Immediately after that, a terrible tsunami erupted in the ocean. Who is shaking the ocean? Aquaman Namor looked gloomy, holding the Aquaman trident and sitting on his throne. At the moment he noticed that a terrible tsunami was brewing, and immediately his face sank, and at the same time felt a trace of horror at the power. Boom! Namor struck the ground with a trident. In an instant, the global ocean stabilized, and the constant rule force was transmitted, and all the seawater was forcibly controlled in an instant. This is the power of the King of Atlantis. At the same time, a huge magical power suddenly spread from Kamar Taj, and the magic arrays inscribed everywhere in the Earth's time and space, at the moment appeared, calming down the power exposed by the battle between these two terrible beings. Countless people have a look of fear, especially those high level powers, with solemn expressions. When ordinary people are still ignorant, they know better what it means to cause global fluctuations. A strong one with level sub god father fighting on the earth? No, it's more terrifying than that. Our energy monitoring device directly exploded. This is just an aftermath. Magic Spear Bureau? Jung Xion looked to the southwest, frowning, his face ugly. Why is there such a terrible power coming from Kamar Taj? Did Ancient One really fight Martin? With a powerful monitoring mechanism, he did detect Martin's whereabouts, and they were walking around on the roof of the world, and they were not blind. The scale and power of the spear game far surpassed shield coupled with Martin's unabashedness, they did know it. But, why did you fight? First level alert, prepare for the worst. Jung Xion ordered immediately. Thousands of thousands of Superman classes in the compilation immediately started moving and rushed to all parts of the country. What's the worst plan? A man carrying a golden cudgel and a divine power of the heavens surging on his body, said in a deep voice. Jung Xian glanced at him and said, The worst plan is to die together, I don't know why they went to war. Everything is not easy to conclude, but at their level, the earth becomes extremely fragile. After speaking, Jung Xian looked at the man in front of him with a serious expression, and said solemnly, Monkey King, the divine power in you has become more irritable. They, are you coming back soon? Monkey King scratched his head a little. It should be like this. I can almost perceive that guy's supernatural power. After all, my strength comes from the duplication of that guy's hair, and I can barely feel it. This swordsman warrior named Monkey King was not the one in the heavenly court, but from an orthodox human origin. 
In a mystery a few years earlier, he came into contact with the duplication of the real Monkey King who was imprisoned on the earth. The two sides exchanged ideas, lived together for a long time. He received a long and cruel training at Monkey King's Velus duplication, and finally inherited the supernatural power of Velus duplication. Then joined the Divine Spear Bureau and became an extremely powerful warrior under Zheng Xian's command. Moreover, he is not the strongest. In the Divine Spear game, the guy who is stronger than his Monkey King, and there are several people, the terrifying power accumulated in the entire Divine Spear game is only the tip of the iceberg. You stay in the country and monitor closely. I personally went to Kunlun Mountain to talk to Lei Gong, Jade Emperor, and Shou Lao. If it really doesn't work, I can only ask them to help. Zheng Xian said solemnly. The group of people who practice Qi in the holy land of Kunlun have been alive for too long. No one knows how strong they are, and the dragon named Shou Lao, who lives in Kunlun is also mysterious, is the source of power for the entire Kunlun, and an important force that needs to be wooed. The Magic Spear Bureau paid great attention to the relationship with Kunlun Mountain. Although the Magic Spear Bureau was the official institution with the highest authority in the ancient kingdom of the East, it was only relative after all. In the face of a behemoth like Kunlun, it will eventually have to compromise. The major institutions are moving, Hydra, Hand Union, Atlantis, Latvinia, X-Men and Brotherhood. Everyone is swaying with the wind in this terrible aftermath, and the original sin of the weak is undoubtedly exposed, and can only beg the two strong men who have caused a huge wave not to go too far. Find Flowers The era of coexistence of ambition and humbleness is the most intense and craziest era. In a different space. The stacked prism barriers were shattered by Martin with a punch, and large pieces of fragments broke apart. The terrifying power skyrocketed wildly, and the blue brilliance of space gem suddenly passed, and a cold murderous intent was brewing in the brilliance. Everything fell apart. Ancient one, give me the time gem, I turn around and leave. Martin smashed the mirrored space created again with a punch, and then forcibly blasted the building that was constantly changing up and down, and constantly folded, to the ground. Ancient One's figure retreated quickly, a large yellow robe was shaking, the blue and red cloaks on the shoulders were flying constantly, and the Ancient One was moving at an astonishing speed, and the two floating cloaks had powerful magical powers, possessing a certain autonomous will, in a crash, constantly shaking, bombarding with tearing energy as much as possible. Zero, sure enough, you know time gem, dot who are you? Ancient One's face sank. The secret of time gem can only be known by the previous supreme magician. Time gem was originally a treasure of the Kamar Taj era, suppressed and sealed by the eye of Agamotto. But, why Martin knows, why he seems to have been prepared, using the power of green time for her, without any unexpected emotions. This person is just an ordinary little person on countless timelines. Martin, who is it? Time gem is related to too many things. To some extent, it is the most dangerous and powerful gem among the six infinite gems. I can't give it to you. Ancient One threw out the book of Emperor Weishan, and as the page number was opened, there were a series of powerful and outrageous spells, continuously pouring out. With the Trinity Emperor Weishan on the deep multi-universe platform, Ancient One can use the Book of Emperor Weishan to use all kinds of incredible horror magic. But these were all smashed by Martin's punch. Take out the power of the Time Gem and fight with me. How can you win by relying on these things? Ancient One, what on earth are you caring about? Martin looked at the opponent's eye sockets, the dark magic patterns slowly emerging, and he spoke in a cold voice. Ancient One's face is extremely solemn and the confrontation with Martin just a few times has shaken countless different times and spaces. The pressure she has endured is far beyond ordinary people's imagination. Even the dark magic in the body escaped. This is not her power, not Kamar Taj's power, nor is it the power of Emperor Weishan. This is the power of the exotic Mephista, Dormammu. Martin looked at the black magic power that was constantly escaping, looked at the looming black lines on Ancient One's face, and suddenly smiled. It is normal to borrow power from others, but if this power cannot be perfectly controlled by you, even if you stabbed you severely at a critical time, 
Martin slowly raised his right hand and opened it slowly. The power of space and mind is constantly distorting everything, steadily being controlled at the same time, and finally under the control of Martin, the master. Ancient One took a deep breath and looked indifferent, stealing Dormammu's dark power all the year round, already putting her body under huge amounts of pressure. Who are you and which universe are you from? Ancient One took a step forward and took a picture of the tripod of all things. In a crash, a large number of images appeared in the tripod, almost all related to Martin. But no matter how you watched Ancient One, you still haven't been able to find the reason why Martin is so special. There is no information about parallel universes, no peculiarities, all time nodes, and finally came that night, Broadway, Martin walked off the beetle. Everything changed from here. Wow! Martin waved his right hand, and the surrounding space began to burst into terrible disorder, and the various scenes in the cauldron of all things began to collapse immediately. I am a person in this universe. You can't understand me, just because your level is too low and the specifications are too small. It is you, not me, that has the problem. Martin has a cold face, and his dark eyes are sharp. He has the entire Cybertronian civilization. How can a mere ancient one figure it out? The current ancient one has been tied to the position of the supreme magician for 500 years, and has not given up the shackles of the body, and swims multi universe in the form of soul. If she really traveled some universes, she would know that under the Marvel multi universe system, there are too many myths about one step conferring to gods, and many of them are unreasonable. An ordinary person drinks a bottle of medicine and then swishes. There is the power of a million fixed stars, can you believe it? Ancient One listened to Martin's strong words, without words, but no longer concealed it when he started, and the powerful dark power was also used at any time. Countless black and white magic rushed in, and terrible magic power rushed out, sweeping everything. That mirrored space has long since been torn and rebuilt countless times, and every powerful attack can wipe out large swaths of matter into nothingness. The battlefield of the two figures has long gone beyond the earth, and they are fighting in countless different dimensions at the same time. Their figures are like ghosts, flashing several times, and appear in the vacuum of the universe. Ancient One was completely suppressed by Martin, who possessed two infinite gems and top artifacts. But she still refused to use the power of time gem too much, so that her decline became more and more obvious. Every time you use time gem, it will indeed cause huge amounts of time ripples, which will lead to the birth of a large number of new parallel universes. Ancient One, your cautious mindset is not suitable for owning Time Gem. Give me the Time Gem, and I will play its value perfectly. Martin grabbed to Ancient One. Boom! Ancient One smashed down the huge amounts of the cauldron of all things, and immediately, the eyes on the eye of Agamotto flashed abruptly, powerful spells poured out, and the moment when Martin was defeated again, Ancient One's figure disappeared in place. In the chaotic and turbulent magic and countless explosions of magic, everything seems to have become an ocean of magic, and all the chaos and falsehoods in the world have gathered here at this moment. The Ancient One's figure instantly separated countless, true and false, matched with the mirror space, it is difficult to distinguish. Martin suddenly landed on a cosmic meteorite with a cold face, he watched the countless Ancient One and shot himself at the same time, squeezed his right fist, the yellow mind gem flickered, and in an instant, huge amounts of mental storm erupted. The terrible riot caused a shock across the universe. What a terrible spiritual storm, who would have this kind of power? Infinite gems, this must be infinite gems. I want to speed up the search for the whereabouts of the magic ball. As long as I can have an infinite gems, I can also have the power to shake the entire universe. There is no need to follow Thanos at all. Greatness will belong to me, Ronan. Even the top ancient gods in the universe were really shocked this time. It is indeed this kind of explosive fluctuation that has touched the end of the universe. Data collection. High energy particle analysis. Linear capture. The battlefield is in the Milky Way and surrounding galaxies. There is the Earth, our experimental site. The application for the forthcoming, the ultimate assessment of the Earth species, failed, obliterated. 
There are not many people in the universe that can pass the audit like the scrolls. This will be a new massacre. Approval of the application. The application is approved, and it will come to the Earth in the near future. A group of mechanical giants with heavy armor and several bulb shaped lamp holes on the surface, at the moment, are looking forward in the distance from the depths of the universe. Boom, boom, boom. Terrible fluctuations erupted one after another, exploding a large number of planets. All the incarnations of Ancient One, in front of this terrible spiritual storm, were completely swept away by force and turned into a bubble in an instant. A mouthful of blood spurted out, and the red color dripped from the corner of Ancient One's mouth. Taking advantage of the moment when another wave of magic collapsed, Ancient One flickered, and in the next instant, tens of thousands of light years passed, and finally came to Martin. Martin, you are the second most powerful enemy I have ever encountered, but your ambition has swallowed you. Ancient One waved her hand and countless portals emerged. She stepped into it, and in an instant, countless figures appeared in each portal. For the first time, Ancient One endured the pain and risk of body breakdown and fully urged Time Gem. Every green brilliance flashed, Ancient One's aging body immediately had a large number of cracks and self-healing soon. Even if she is a supreme magician, she has a beautiful layout and perfect performance of the Infinite Gem's ability. That's why Martin does it. Special. A human being can not only directly touch the infinite gems, but also directly control them steadily. What a terrible signal this is. My ability fits with my ambition. Only you are the arrogant guy who can't see the future. Martin sneered. The voice just fell. Time began to flow backwards, and it was only limited to Martin himself. Ancient One spewed blood again. His body was aging rapidly and he insisted on resisting the law of two infinite gems, and flowed back the time on Martin's body. Then, she stepped forward on her own, came to Martin, and stretched out her hand. Accurately, Martin just raised his right fist to use infinite gems at this moment. I won't kill you, but I need you to enter my magic prison to wake up. Although I don't know why, your life and spirit are so terrible that even gods can't match your level. This is enough to keep you in the magic prison forever. It's immortal for thousands of years. When you figure it out one day, I don't know how many generations later the air will release you and return you to freedom. In the infinite diversity, maybe you and I will meet one day. Ancient One's voice was peaceful. The palm of Martin's right fist was tightly gripped, and a powerful magic burst out suddenly. At this moment, Ancient One used all her strength. This is what she saw in the 14 million futures. The only way I found to defeat Martin. Dig out Martin's. Infinite gems. The red and blue floating cloaks, at the moment, fighting the risk of damage, directly entangled Martin's left hand and feet, doing everything to stop Martin's resistance. The tripod of all things also smashed down, crashing on top of Martin's head. Ancient One used the Book of Wei Shandi, Eye of Agamotto and Time Gem to finally have this once in a lifetime opportunity. She grabbed Martin's magnetic gloves and used her last strength to start capturing infinite gems. According to the 14 million possibilities she saw, this was the final victory. But when Ancient One really started to dig infinite gems, it met Martin's indifferent face with a hint of sarcasm. Ancient One, when have you been so naive? Martin turned his head and looked at the two floating cloaks that bound him tightly. He sneered and made a fist. A terrible force burst out breaking the two cloaks tightly, making a terrible creak, as if they would break apart at will. The future you see is always full of deceit and falsehood. The specification limit of infinite gems is the single 25 universe, but once faced with a level beyond the limit of a universe, they are no different from waste. Martin sneered in a low voice, and the cold laughter made Ancient One uneasy. It was also at this time that Martin finally used the leadership module. He had the last minute of authority. He didn't even need to completely liberate the leadership module. He only needed to use it for one second. It only takes a second. Hum. In an instant, Ancient One's face changed wildly. From Martin, a terrifying power burst out suddenly, and this power seemed to have an increase ability, instantly superimposing Martin's existing levels again by a large amount. What have you done? Ancient One's face was shocked. Although this increase lasted only one second, 
One second was enough. Now Martin is already extremely terrifying. His manipulation and ability of the artifact is much stronger than when he fought with Odin in the past. At the same time and with the same authority, the magical power he can exert is much more powerful than that time. One second. Hiss. The red floating cloak was suddenly torn by Martin at this moment. I never care about clothes, I just tear them up. Martin laughed sharply, in front of Ancient One, with the terrible power erupting from his left hand, within a second. He tore the red floating cloak to pieces, and then, after breaking free, he grabbed the one who was going to struggle to escape. Blue floating cloak. You don't know how long it took to make these two clothes, for Stephen. It's a pity that his clothes are gone. Martin grabbed the blue cloak and increased his strength a little bit. This terrible force that can directly dump microscopic particles, a little bit, destroyed the structure of the blue cloak and collapsed the blue cloak. Ancient One's face was blue, squeezing the last trace of magic in the body, using all the artifacts, to capture the infinite gems on Martin's right hand. But, when she really reached her limit, she was shocked to find, dot she couldn't dig it. Her dignified supreme magician, with all her strength, can't even detain an infinite gems? What kind of gloves are you? Where did you get them? Even the Infinity Gauntlet made specifically for infinite gems shouldn't have this kind of stability. Ancient One looked shocked. Why? Why are there such horrible gloves in this world that can accept the terrible specifications of infinite gems in all directions? This is a magnetic glove. The holy artifact I created can unrestrictedly exert the power of six infinite gems, I can't guarantee, but at least, it is nothing to control two infinite gems. Martin sneered and whispered. With six infinite gems paired with Infinity Gauntlet, the level has basically entered a multi-level universe. It can barely make an attack that seriously hurts the ancient gods, which is something that can make the five great creation gods jealous. Magnetic gloves are enough to replace the mere Infinity Gauntlet beyond specifications. Just like Infinity Gauntlet, is it also compatible with magnetic gloves? Ancient One's face was gloomy. She knew that after losing, what she saw through time gems still failed to become reality after all. She failed. Ancient One, your status restricts your vision and fuels your arrogance, and only then has your failure today. Boom. The blue space gem suddenly blasted a terrible crack, and Ancient One was about to be cut off, and Ancient One's face changed drastically, but he was about to retreat, but Martin grabbed Ancient One's shoulder with his left hand. Hiss. The small half of Ancient One's body was cut off by Space Gem, spattering large bloodstains. The Time Gem was activated, and the green light flashed, and Ancient One was restored to its original state, but the state was obviously worse. Martin stretched out his hand and grabbed the cauldron of everything, and then, in front of Ancient One, grabbed it with both hands. The Space Gem flashed one after another, and the cauldron of all things wailed and was torn apart on the spot. There is no more artifact. Ancient One closed his eyes in pain, and then opened them suddenly. The power of time on his body was no longer deliberately suppressed. At the moment finally revealed the style of infinite gems. From now on, you have surpassed me. Ancient One's face returned to peace, and he said indifferently, You are the most powerful human being on earth so far, and you are also the most likely existence to reach the end of the universe. Maybe you are right. My vision is limited, but you his ambition is also the most terrifying and the most endless among all people and gods I have ever met. Martin looked calm. The flame burning in his eyes, the thing called ambition, was incomparably vivid from the beginning, undisguised. He will lead Cybertron to the summit, fight against the ancient gods in front of him, defeat countless multi-universe Protoss, climb to the highest peak, and overlook the splendor of the entire multi-universe. However, his ambition is not understandable by the current Ancient One at all. The Ancient One who has not escaped the shackles of a single universe is not the one who is knowledgeable and can always return in time when Doctor Strange encounters a huge dilemma to give him guidance. You lose. Martin squeezed out the nearby fixed star and spoke lightly. Ancient One exhaled a long breath, as if putting everything down, coughed twice, and his voice was calm. Yes, I lost. I misunderstood you. Green light surged from the eye of Agamotto, 
I can give you time gem, but we need to set up a brand new deal. Otherwise, I would rather throw Eye of Agamotto randomly into other universes. Without the blessing of related universe law, time gem is just an ordinary stone. In other words in other words, you will never find time gem again, and you will never get infinite gems together. Ancient One slowly said, Help me, I will personally give you time gem. Stephen's head has always been dumbfounded. He didn't know why these two humans, who were rated as the strongest by Professor X, fought after they said something inexplicable. He looked at the two in front of him with a dull face, holding a teacup, talking with a smile like a friend for many years, as if all the conflicts and battles just now had never happened. Is this the world of the strong? Horrible. Stephen, I want to heal your hand. Kamar Taj is the only place. Martin got up, strode over to Stephen, patted him on the shoulder again, and laughed. Stephen nodded ignorantly. It seems that this is how a deal is reached. You'd better train Stephen as soon as possible. I don't have much time to spend with you. Martin got up and glanced at Mount Everest in the distance. He seemed to be admiring the beauty, but without looking back, he warned Ancient One. Ancient One nodded slightly. This is one of their transactions. Time Gem should stay in Kamar Taj in the short term, and Martin will visit this place again one day in the near future to recover Time Gem. Robber if you don't give it, Kamar Taj must be prepared for destruction. Martin departed coolly. Mordu's face was gloomy. Supreme Magician, are we really going to compromise with him? He is an ambitious lunatic. Ancient One looked at Martin's distant back, fell silent for a while, and said faintly, Mordu, although I don't agree with some of his ideas, some of what he said may be true. At least, I know what to do. N.S. On her chest, Time Gem shimmered, filled with the countless future she saw. Some futures are the doomsday that can be called despair, and in this doomsday, Martin is a rare ray of light. Stephen, you come to me. If you want to heal your hands, you need to abandon some old ideas and truly understand the truth of this world. Ancient One said. Stephen nodded repeatedly. I abandoned it, I understand. Ancient One was silent for a moment, then sighed, completely messed up. She raised her hand directly, pressed her heart on Stephen's forehead, and directly drew out Stephen's soul, and took the other party to wander on the surface of the multi-universe for a moment. Nothing is more useful than this. Modu, go and call the king. Ancient One opened the mouth. The king is pursuing the traitor Kisilius, Mordu said. Don't chase, Kisilius has Dormammu asylum. It is an important nail for Dormammu to invade the earth. It is not so easy to die. Ancient One looked at Mordu's figure, his eyes somewhat meaningful. A supreme magician must have a reliable assistant, and the extreme temperament of Mordu. I am afraid that Wong is more suitable for Stephen's assistant than Mordor. A war that shakes the great existence of the entire universe has thus come to an end, but the scope of this storm has long been far beyond ordinary people's expectations. Many gods who have lived too long, even if they haven't seen infinite gems with their own eyes, have already heard of related legends. Some gods have even been searching for the whereabouts of infinite gems all the year round. And the battle between Martin and Ancient One is close to the level single universe, and the peculiar and extreme power displayed by it has long attracted the attention of some guys. Infinite gems fell into the hands of a very tricky guy, Ronan, speed up the search for the magic ball, you know the end of disobeying my orders. The Lord of the Dark Quadrant, the last eternal titan Thanos, was sitting on the throne at the moment, looking at Ronan indifferently. Ronan gritted his teeth, humiliated in his heart, but pretended to be respectful, and said solemnly, Definitely, I will bring you what you want, in exchange for you to destroy Xandal for me. But after all, he just said that, when he had an infinite gems, he could completely destroy the Xandar star on his own, and he didn't need Thanos at all. Thanos looked at Ronan who was slowly receding, with a sneer at the corner of his mouth. The Kree, the Eternal Titans, and the Kree, had an enmity between the two sides for 20,000 years. They were defeated by the Eternal Family and were defeated by the Anomaly. When they fled the Earth in embarrassment, they were chased and killed by the Kree madly along the way. They were already one of the few people. Some of them were killed by the Kree, 
and some were taken by the Kree to be transformed into an alien race, and the remaining ones were able to escape to the moons of Saturn. In this regard, Thanos said that he didn't care about these at all. Anyway, he was born on Titan, not Earth, and he didn't care about the dispute 20,000 years ago, and Titan was dead. This universe needs to be balanced. The endless plundering of an excessive population will only destroy this prosperous universe, killing half of the population at will, so that the whole world can become a better place. Thanos got up, held his hands behind his back, and looked at the endless stars outside the spaceship, shining brightly in the black vacuum, extremely gorgeous. He never cares what others think of him, he only lives for the lofty ideals in his heart. What? Thanos frowned and suddenly turned his head. He saw a black shadow flashing, and there was a strong death rule flashing. When he took a closer look, there was nothing, as if it was an illusion. Here again. Thanos frowned. This happened once when he was very young, and silence had patronized him, but he never cared about it. For the lofty ideal in his heart, even if a true god stood in front of him, he dared to hack the opponent to death on the spot. This is the will of the universe, and the universe hopes that I can succeed. Thanos took a deep breath. The death and end he felt can never be faked. The universe is hoping that he can succeed. Infinite gems. Thanos looked in the direction of the earth, lost in thought. Martin said that he doesn't care about some of Joker's dance, decent, dramas at all. Whether it is Ancient One, or Thanos, or other rotten gods. After all, it was just a group of jokers who tried their best to make cold jokes. He went straight back to the base of the earth, formally preparing for his departure plan. It is also time to build a planet of his own, a Cybotan star that is truly implemented in the cosmic starry sky. With two infinite gems in hand, it is too simple to create a steel planet out of thin air. There is no doubt that our planet should be equipped with a powerful planet engine, with the ability of high-speed movement. Sasser took out the planet model he had constructed, and said with an icy voice, considering future plans, placing Cybertron in this position is the best choice. Sasser is referring to the original location of Asgard. The Earth in the near future has always been in turmoil with huge amounts of. A series of incidents broke out frequently, and everything caused more or less casualties. From the abomination of the Hulk War, to the destruction of hundreds of bases, the explosion of a nuclear bomb, to the New York War that Odin descended on the Earth, causing tens of thousands of casualties, and finally the battle between Martin and Ancient One, which directly shook the universe, and the Earth definitely also like duckweed in the rain, it trembled crazily, and countless people prayed in panic. It's so exciting, and if you stand tall enough, you can naturally see that almost all of these big events have something to do with Martin. Martin a miraculously powerful monster, seems to be a symbol of disaster in itself. Its hegemony and iron-bloodedness, ambition and desire have swept away a large number of lives time and time again, all of which have become sad victims. Martin does not care about these. He is a conqueror. In order to achieve his goal, he never cares about casualties. For this reason, as long as the goal can be achieved, as long as the benefit of receiving the goods is large enough, as long as there is a certain possibility of success, he is even very willing to take risks in person. Don't think that an ambitious conqueror just likes to enslave others from the top. This is a waste of good eyes and low hands. Sasser, you join forces with the ambulance, plus Dr. Banner, I need you to immediately draw up a complete plan, not only the location, including the atmospheric content of Cybertron, the combination of geological elements, and the land and ocean layout, I need all of these. Martin ordered. Willing to serve you, noble creator. Shockwave turned and left, and began to prepare. Martin nodded, got up, and looked into the distance. His vision had already exceeded the limit of the earth, and his keen sense of smell could clearly smell bloodthirsty. Everything is changing. Start the lottery. Martin said silently in his heart. A large number of graphics flashed across the light curtain in my mind. Dip. Start the Level Universe Prestige Lottery. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the ancient special shapeshifting King Kong, Seal. Sealing? Martin furrowed his brows, revealing doubts, 
clicked on the selected light curtain, and saw the detailed information. Ancient King Kong is the category of many special shapeshifting King Kong, among which there are a large number of powerful King Kong. To unlock it, special powers or props are required. Martin understood immediately, just as he had unlocked the Decepticons and Autobots. In order to unlock the Decepticons, he killed Abomination. In order to unlock the Autobots, he killed T'Challa and Leopard God. Now to unlock these powerful dinosaur King Kong, he also needs to obtain special powers as a medium. The flow of steel cables is okay. What I like most is this big guy. Martin clicked on a figure, revealing a big, terrifying figure. Giant Ferocious. From the ancient times of Cybertron, it has survived all the way to the era of zealots and blogs, where five giants can combine to form a top-level combined diamond and soar into the sky. A single giant and ferocious can even fight against the leader King Kong like Megatron. After being integrated into the sky, its combat power can be imagined, and it is almost a perfect war weapon. To find a power medium that can activate the ancient King Kong. Martin groaned, probably knowing what to do, it's also time to get in touch with those guys, those guys with the power of the dragon. Kunlun, and Shohehui. Go to Shohehui first, kill all their five leaders, and study what the power of the dragon is. Martin was silent for a moment and gave the order. Go to the island country and capture the five old immortals back. A large number of shapeshifting King Kong received the order, and a cold light flashed in their eyes. They were not interested in knowing whether the five old undeads of the Shohehui were planning to cooperate or resist. He only needed the power of the dragon on the five of them. Accept the order, destroy the Hand Confederation, and capture the five fingers of the Hand Confederation alive. A large number of shapeshifting King Kong began to move, under the leadership of Optimus Prime, CFBD, and Megatron, opened the land bridge, and came to the island country in no time. A large number of ninjas gathered around, with violent expressions. What are you doing here? We have never offended you. Boom. Megatron punched it into flesh. You don't offend, it doesn't matter at all. The important thing is that I want to see your leader. Megatron grinned. Optimus Prime looked down, frowned slightly, and drew out a special giant sword with the power of Mjolnir and Stormax on it, as well as unknown things mixed in it. I don't want to hurt you so I immediately let the senior management of the Shohehui come out. Optimus Prime carried a four or five meter long sword with a sense of deterrence. Even these battle-tested ninjas couldn't help but feel a trace of fear in his heart at the moment. Wow! Suddenly, five virtual screens appeared, and five figures appeared. We are full of respect for Mr. Martin, and we have never acted offensively. I don't know what happened and let you hit the door. Madame Gao looked at the large number of shapeshifting diamonds, her scalp was numb, and she resisted the instinct to turn around and flee, and said solemnly. It's not that her temperament is too bad, but she is also four to five hundred years old, and she has gone through ups and downs. These things she faced were really terrible. Especially the figure standing behind these robots is a living god on earth, and a very powerful and domineering god. If there is nothing wrong with dealing with Daredevil, you have to face a behemoth like Martin. They will all die. Even the power of Shenlong can't save them. Megatron stepped out and slammed the virtual screen in front of him. He grinned and said, Our purpose is the five of you. No one else is of any value. If you don't want to die, just get out of here. Kill them. After a moment of silence, the five fingers gave orders with helpless expressions. When they looked at each other, they could see the fear on each other's faces. They, where did they offend Martin? Why do these robots treat them this way and specify five of them? It should be related to the power of the dragon. Otherwise, they can attack the Shohahui directly and kill all the ninjas. Murakami slowly pulled out Katana, his face pale. The five of them were originally Kunlun warriors. Later, because of greed, they stole part of the dragon's power and gained the power of longevity. They escaped from Kunlun Mountain and came to the island country to create a hand-in-hand -hand association. In addition to the power of the dragon, the five of them really didn't know what else could attract the attention of a terrible monster like Martin. We absolutely can't let the power of the dragon, then find a way to escape, 
Maybe there will be a turn for the better in the future. Mrs. Gao closed her eyes in pain, and since 1588, the Hand Healing Society has finally come to an end. This is a tragic massacre. Even if the Shohehui has a large number of carefully nurtured ninjas, facing the terrifying war weapons such as the shapeshifting King Kong, there is no power to fight back at all. Even the assassination techniques that these ninjas are most proud of will be cracked in an instant in the face of having a powerful information collection system and analysis system. Shohehui is dying. What happened? Daredevil listened to the terrible sound of slaughter, his expression shocked. Erica's scalp numb. It's the shapeshifting King Kong. They are attacking the Hand Union. God. This was an unprecedented horrific slaughter. Those killer ninjas armed with swords and tried their best to leave many scars on the shapeshifting King Kong. Daredevil has a solemn face. As the number one enemy of Shohehui, he has been fighting with Shohehui for many years. Originally, he was lurking in the island country this time. He planned to fight against the five fingers of Shohehui, but he didn't realize it. It was even more terrifying. The guy is the first to do it. The five figures began to move quickly and were about to rush into the ocean. You five old dogs, where do you want to run? Megatron smiled grimly, strode, trampled many ninjas to death along the way, and directly slammed the five fingers. A large number of shapeshifting diamonds have already gathered in the past and burst into flames. Damn it! The high-level eyes of the five hands were about to split, roaring, and one after another burst of energy, cutting off a large number of attacks, but taking advantage of this gap, a large number of shapeshifting diamonds had already surrounded them. They tried their best to resist, and killed several shapeshifting diamonds one after another, but they were eventually cut off their limbs and captured them alive. Why, we have never offended Martin. Madame Gao was soaked in blood with a look of despair. It is of no use. The hand-to-hand -hand associations that existed for hundreds of years came to an end in the flames of war. Although there are still many remnants of hand-to-hand -hand associations around the world, it is nothing. Five fingers were bloody and dragged back to the base of the earth. Welcome, five distinguished severed fingers. Martin was holding a cup of coffee with an alluring aroma with his right hand. The two bright gems exuded luster, which seemed to be beautiful decorations. He sat firmly on the chair and gestured to the five old men. Martin. We are willing to surrender, and the whole hand fitting is yours. Murakami screamed sorrowfully, leaving only the torso squirming like a caterpillar, seeming to please, but it will only make people feel more disgusting. A bunch of rubbish ninjas in the hands, what use do I want them to do? I just make a bunch of shapeshifting King Kong, they can fight better than them, and are more proficient in assassination and fighting than them. I only need the power of the dragons of the five of you. There was a smile on Martin's face, which looked like a demon in the eyes of the five noble severed fingers. Martin opened his hand and stretched out his right hand. First, he squeezed Mrs. Gao's neck. A huge force of deterrence was generated, and everything about him was swallowed by Martin. This power of the dragon is not enough at all. Martin groaned for a while and walked to the other four people. With one hand, he completely ignored the screams of these four guys and swallowed all the power of the dragon on his body. This fulfilled the basic need for unlocking. Drip. Congratulations to the host for unlocking the ancient shapeshifting King Kong, and rewarding the shapeshifting King Kong, Wire Rope. Wire Rope. The shapeshifting King Kong with the shape of Tyrannosaurus Rex is powerful. Open black lens bracket steel rope close black lens bracket. Dinosaur Legion under the Autobot Legion. Character. Reckless, impact plus 20%, height, 16 meters. Energy. 8 million, open black lens bracket body. Healthy close black lens bracket, combat power, level 3. Famous saying. Among the winners, there is no place for the weak. Close black lens bracket. Evaluation. The commander of the Dinosaur Legion has a reckless character but has a rough and a fine line. He saved the Autobots many times, dismissed Optimus Prime's leadership position, and often challenged and confronted Optimus Prime. Close black lens bracket. Tightrope, the mount of Optimus Prime in the movie version, and in the animated version of G1, it was made by the robot Jack, 
using the CNA gene of shapeshifting King Kong combined with dinosaur fossils on the Earth. It's actually this big guy. Martin looked at the wire rope, smiling at the corner of his mouth. Originally, it would be best if a giant monster could be produced. A single giant monster was a ruthless character that could stand up against the leader King Kong. Even if it was used as a mount, it would be extremely prestigious and domineering. However, the steel cable is also good. As soon as the wire rope appeared, he immediately roared to the sky, his voice dull. Me. The ferocious gaze looked around, and finally fell on Optimus Prime, and then immediately, a feeling of disdain grew. Find flowers, huh, very good, Optimus Prime, since you are here, then the winner is determined. The winner is qualified to lead all Autobots. The steel cable stepped forward, and the huge steel body slammed into it fiercely. He sees Optimus Prime very unpleasantly. This is something carved into his bones. This is just born. If Martin's previous life, impulsive and reckless, he would not listen to Optimus Prime's orders at all, he would follow him even more. Based on his own will, he ran rampant on the battlefield. Megatron let out a weird laugh, took a step back to make room, put his hands on his shoulders, his blood-red eyes rolled, full of evil taste. Very well, dinosaur, if you lose, you can come to my Decepticons, your temperament is naturally a Decepticon. Megatron laughed in a low voice. Zero, go away, I don't need to join anyone, I want everyone to join me. The steel cable moved in the rumbling noise, like a walking hill, which was extremely deterrent. Martin laughed at this moment, this dinosaur was the most special one he had ever seen. As soon as he appeared, he was singled out by Optimus Prime. It's not pleasing to see Optimus Prime on the cable, the kind of all round, like this in the previous life, and it is still like this when I came to the Marvel world. We have to fight each other when we meet. Optimus Prime was silent for a moment, and directly drew out the great sword on his back, just waving it randomly, and a terrible blue violet thunder flashed by with a terrifying momentum and a squally roar. Boom! Optimus Prime thrust the giant sword into the ground, causing huge amounts of energy ripples. You don't need to challenge me, Tightrope, as long as you can raise this sword, I will admit defeat. Optimus Prime released his hand and took a step back, expressionless. The steel cable laughed loudly, the 16-meter giant body shook, and the ground shook. He stretched out a paw to point to the sword on the ground, and then pointed to his chest. I, steel cable, can't it still be lifted? A sword? Optimus Prime, your small body can be used, then me, it is not a problem, you will regret it. The wire rope behaved wildly, as if he had heard a joke of huge amounts of. Optimus Prime shrugged and made a pleased gesture. The wire rope smiled contemptuously, and the two claws hugged the hilt directly, and terrible power burst out. The wire rope hugged the giant sword. The cable began to draw the sword. The terrible power erupted, and the ground cracked directly. The giant sword has not moved, its weight far exceeds its file size, as if directly connected to the core of the earth, pulling up this sword, it is like pulling a planet. Um? The cable loosened his hand, looked down with wide-eyed eyes, and was stunned. What kind of sword is this? How can it be so heavy? The steel cable glared at him. He didn't believe in evil, and he roared up to the sky. Two small paws hit his chest fiercely, making a huge vibration that resounded thousands of miles. You can imagine how powerful he is. Pure power, even Optimus Prime can't match him. Me, Tightrope, today, we must raise this sword and become the supreme leader of the Autobot army. The steel cable slammed into the ground, posed, and hugged the giant sword again, his fierce blue pupils staring at Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime looked indifferent, I'm waiting for you to pull out the sword. This kind of plainness completely angered the big guy wire rope. Stand up. The terrifying force burst out, and the entire steel base at the moment suddenly produced a terrible roar. Fortunately, this base uses a large number of vibranium elements as the main building frame material, which is extremely strong. But even so, many fragile materials were still affected, and the coefficients began to crack in front of this terrible force, and the scene was shocking. Dr. Banner watched this scene dumbfounded, 
His whole body swayed in this hard shock, trembling all over. This, this, this is terrible, Dr. Banner whispered. Suddenly half of his face suddenly swelled and turned green, and Hulk ran out and shouted, It's stronger than Hulk. This is a bit inferior. The strongest thing about Hulk is his strength, but Megatron was beaten to death with his fist. By this time, many people present were much stronger than his strength. The steel cable roared, and both legs sank deeply into the ground, but the sword still didn't move. What material is this sword? Why can't even I shake it? The cable was completely covered. This is not technological at all, and it is beyond the scope of his understanding. At the very least, it should be shaken, but there is not even the slightest shake. It really seems to have taken root in the core of the earth. Optimus Prime strode up, pushed away the steel cable, and snorted coldly, watch it well. He only stretched out one hand and put it on the hilt of the sword, and then lifted it lightly. The sword was pulled up lightly just like it had no weight. The movements were so relaxed and casual. The wire rope fell into silence, and the thought organs that were not very bright at first died directly. After a long time, he growled his mouth and roared, Very well, Optimus Prime, you have won, and I will listen to you in the future. Um. Optimus Prime had no expression on his face, as if he had done a trivial thing, and in his calmness, he seemed to have a kind of impatient time wasting, and the glance that he swept over inadvertently was even more meaningful. At this moment, Wire Rope couldn't figure out Optimus Prime's confidence, and he immediately stood in awe, and unknowingly, he showed a sense of awe for Optimus Prime. Ah, you won, Optimus Prime, your mighty power actually surpassed my tightrope. The Wire Rope spoke in a dull, weird tone, and the little paw pointed at his chest again. I will keep my promise and respect you as the leader, but don't be proud. When I become stronger in the future, I will still show you issue a challenge. Optimus Prime hung the great sword on his back and said lightly, Wait for you to pull up the sword, and then you can raise the challenge. What? The cable roared angrily, and accompanied by the sound of Dong Dong Dong's footsteps, he strode away, and he was in a bad mood. When the tightrope ran away, all those present couldn't help but laugh. When he knows the truth, he will fight you desperately. Martin laughed directly and teased Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime lifted his chin. Then you have to wait until he pulls up the sword. This is his own choice, and I didn't force him. Really, a very interesting scene, fool's tightrope. Ordinary people simply can't lift the sword. Even if Martin is axed to pull it, he must rely on the power of the Supreme God armor and infinite gems to break the specifications and pull it up. A ghost, you can't lift it even if you kill Martin. He is not a pure-hearted person except in terms of ambition. Integrated the Ulu-based Mjolnir and Stormax, combined with the conversion gold obtained during the lottery during this period and the massive vibranium dug out, the weapon finally built, also has the characteristics of testing the soul. Martin looked at the giant sword on Optimus Prime's back, sighing. This giant sword has reached the threshold of the level single universe artifact. It is no exaggeration to say that, except for Optimus Prime who can easily use it, no one else can control this giant sword if they don't rely on brute force. This giant sword was specially tailored for Optimus Prime, and it is the highest achievement that Shockwave and others have researched and manufactured so far. It's a ghost who can shake a giant sword just like a steel cable. As time went on, several days passed, everything is calm again at least on the surface. Martin lives his unpretentious life, ambitiously formulating a step-by-step -step plan for the future, and then conducts three regional draws every other week. In this kind of all-region lottery, the probability of winning good things is too low, mostly conversion gold and super energy crystals. During the period, the ambulance used the characteristics of the eternal fire to research out dark energy crystals, which can replenish energy and can also control the lives that are nearing death. It is an artifact on the Legion level battlefield, but for the top battlefield, it is very restrictive. Before long, the rare piece was broken. A sudden and terrifying spiritual force swept the world in a flash, and then disappeared in a flash, so that ordinary people would not even notice it. But many existences that are extremely powerful on the spiritual level are keenly sensed. 
Martin slowly put down the hot coffee in his hand, even if it was him, at the moment also showed a look of surprise. My Lord Creator, there is at least a mental power like level sub God Father, Shockwave reported immediately. Well, in the strict sense, it can't be regarded as mental power. This is more biased towards emotional power. Martin stuck in his pocket, looking into the distance through the window. This force is Phoenix Force, one of the three powers of multi universe. That is, looking at the entire Marvel system, it has never appeared in its entirety, has never been completely mastered by anyone, has never appeared in its complete form. Phoenix Force.